forward, looking forward to seeing. But now here we are together. Dandava to each and every one, to yourself, Praneshwari, to Paramananda Prabhu, to Kumkumdiri, Chintamani, Devidasi, and Jayadev Prabhu, Seva Rupa Devidasi, and maybe her cat or her brother's cat, I do not know. Yes, Chintamani ji, Hare Krishna, Dandava. Oh my goodness, the face, the faces of Govinda Farm. Those I think you know every everybody knows everybody. Su Lakshana Devidasi and Krishna Priya Devidasi. Go, Govinda Farm, Dandavat, Dandavat. Vaishnava Chef Sulakshana Didi. Huh? Vaishnava Chef. Vaishnava Chef. <laughs> Now world famous. Right. <laughs> Here is the evidence. World famous. Well done. I'm coming here to farming. <laughs> These two are world famous. Everyone knows. I'm just here to help them a little bit. <laughs> good. It is good to get our hands into the earth and to see what's taking place. What is life? It's for me being here at Vila Govinda. It's really quite uh, quite alarming or impressive how nature works. But they but don't know works. how to grow rice in Italy. <laughs> oh, they do, but a little bit south. Here's a mountainous and not enough water for them, apparently. But uh, south of Milan, it, it looks like Bengal, surprisingly. Wow. So they do know how to grow rice. Ah, Desi. But here is wheat. Just, I don't know, some reason. They grow wheat in the north of uh, Milan and south of Milan they grow rice. Just see. Surprises everywhere. And Japan and China, they grow rice and it gets quite cold. So it's something to do with the land and the climate. But here in Vila Govinda, yes, no rice. All right, Govinda, Govinda. So, we are us. By the way, looking forward to um, less than 24 hours time. Every Friday, we'll give a little publicity for the Chinese, uh, Chinese Facebook program from Chiang Mai. It, they do every there Friday morning. And there, what time in the morning? 7.30. Here, 7 here. 7 a.m. here in Thailand. 7 a.m. in Thailand. Generally here we see the recorded ones. But uh, usually lively. It's Chinese and English. So we can all learn some Chinese by listening to the English and the Chinese. But usually it's a live... <laughs> 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 oh, you see, we can learn Chinese if we have a brain to learn Chinese. All right. And Madhavi Didi joined us. Hare Krishna. And we are five minutes in. So let us first of all give obeisances to each other as we come together. Bancha kalpa trubia scha kripa sindubia eva cha patitanam pavanebio vaishnavebio namo namaha. And a mini, minimum even. Well, we've said before, minimum vandanam is actually one verse. It's the vandeham verse because it has Guru, Gauranga, Gauranga's Pashas, and Radha, Krishna, and their Pashas. So we can do the minimum vandana, which is vandeham, plus we'll do to guru, which is omadhyan, and to mahaprabhu, namo mahavaranyaya. And we can say together, but probably need to keep the microphone off because of the little delay. So we can say together, slowly, vandeham, shri guru, shri yuta padakamalang, shri gurun vaishnavangscha. 
ಶ್ರೀರೂಪಂ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಾಹ ಗನ ರಾಗನ ತಂ ವಿತಂ ತಂ ಸಾ ಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಹರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾರ ಸಾಹ ಗನ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖ ವಿತಂ ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ತಿಮಿರಂಡಸ್ಯಾನಂಜನ ಶಲಾಕಾಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರ್ ಅನ್ಮಿಲಿತ ಯೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾವರಣ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮನೆ ಗೋರತ್ವಿಜ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸ ಆದಿ ಗೌರವತ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ವೇ ವಿ ಮೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹೋಪ್ ದಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಅ ಹೆಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಲಿ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಡೇ ಇನ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ವೇ but we know anything can happen because krishna consciousness is not a straight line but every wave is favorable this we have to remember so when we become a devotee or when we trying to be a devotee we have our aspiration to be a do- devotee then now the challenge for us is to change our vision so we do see that every wave is favorable that it's not just a theory it's not just something written on the wall as a saying or a, a cool advertisement for surfing or something like this which i won't be at all surprised if somebody steals guru maharaj's uh, expressions and uses for other things or they make up the expression themselves because we do see good wording for advertising krishna consciousness being used on very mundane things so that is also every way it is favorable because when we see good things in the material world we can try to apply that to krishna consciousness so with every wave being favorable here we are and it's not a special day except on in some of the world we're now on the 1st of july june has gone behind <laughs> for the rest of the world we're not yet on the 1st of july we're still in june so somehow we've come from january to july at the blink of an eye from january to july in the blink of an eye and the world is going on so any question from any quarter or what has what have any of you brought in your pocket as a contribution for our back to back to basics this week kumkum did is brought something i saw her expression <laughs> Advaita Maharaj, you are clairvoyant. Um, there's a particular basic point that I, I like to hear discussed, um, and that is to avoid imitation. And even when I first heard the teachings of Srila Prabhupada, it was very common to hear him guard against Sahajism. and so not knowing anything i would ask what are what are sahajas and i was told they are men in vrindavan who dress up like gopis and i thought okay i'll be sure to avoid that <laughs> and then gradually over the years i've been so blessed to hear this brought out many times all the way up to um hearing bhakti lalita Uh, asked one time that um uh that people had asked her Dave is it true that uh this expression you hear sometimes uh fake it until you make it and his answer was no never not in any way 
And so, you know, for enthusiasm, we don't want to fake it. We want to have actual um, inspiration from Shiguru, Guranga, the scriptures, the chanting, and all the Sangha that we get. So I, I find it to be a very important point to understand the difference in uh, devotion and emotion. We, we don't want to make a show. Even Sriman Mahaprabhu is saying, I'm only making a show so that people will think that I'm a great devotee. If I had any love at all for Krishna, I wouldn't be able to maintain so it seems to be the opposite of uh, making a show, the actual genuine thing that we're going for and can be very detrimental to us. To, and we have to guard. And I don't want people to see how very low I am, how very unadvanced. So I might uh, try to put on a show somewhat and it's very bad. So I like to hear this discussed. Okay. Well, last time we were discussing about uh, the personality of God and the impersonal conception. And this week we're uh, being invited to discuss about imitation. And these two items we see coming up again and again, how we are basically the whole society is infected by the impersonal idea of the Lord and denying the Lord's personality. And this by, in India, by Shankaracharya's uh, influence, this has come about. And that also in service to the Lord as every wave is favorable for its particular purpose. But, and this now, this second topic which is uh, like one, one of probably the two main topics which we are to very much guard against is this, is this one of imitation and being misled by imitationism as we are misled by the monist idea and really misled. I mean, innocent people come and then they read about the all is one conception, et cetera, et cetera. And really, we see they get contaminated. And so often, if not most often, when we are meeting people in the, well, we can say the Western world, because principally we're thinking of the Western world. But when we're meeting people who have come across some philosophy, et cetera, from India, then it's that monistic uh, idea, the all is one idea. And unfortunately, for most people in the West who haven't come across Srila Prabhupada's books, Srila Gurudev and Srila Guru Maharaj's books, then they're also reading from a source which is you know, debatable, you can say. We can't put 100% of everybody in the same bucket because you know, amongst the authors are no doubt some sincere persons. But the difficulty is that most or many of the, we can say most of the authors, most of the teachers that are propounding you know, various things, they're imitating. They're, they're living one life and saying another life. And they're imitating the behavior of the sadhus, of the sadhus as described in Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, imitating in the, at least in the earlier generations before Srila Saraswati Thakur, they were imitating Mahaprabhu and Nityananda's followers, etc. So the exposure in the West to both the Mayavad and to the, to the source of uh, their knowledge coming from people who are imitating, then both of these are very injurious. And this is where we are fortunate if our introduction and our knowledge about the Vedas, about spiritual life of uh, India, when this is coming from Srila Prabhupada, from Srila Guru Maharaj, from Srila Gurudev. Because from the beginning, we're being warned almost from page one about the impersonal and page two about <laughs> imitation. So we're being guarded 
uh, about imitationism. And you're mentioning about how, yes, in Vrindavan, <laughs> men dress up as ladies. And not only Vrindavan, unfortunately, in other places too. And dress up as ladies and pretend to be ladies in devotional mood because they they catch a part of the idea. But it is not only the like the more obvious; it's the less obvious. And it comes to mind in Nabadeep, the time of Gorkishor Das Babaji Maharaj. Then he had a, a small. Uh, cottage, I mean, a small shelter, thatch shelter on the side of the Ganges, he would chant the holy name. But as a, as a natural result of the chanting, he couldn't help himself from having tears and crying and various symptoms came to him. And he tried to be alone on the banks of the Ganges. But as we hear, the fame of the devotee even goes ahead of the devotee. The devotee doesn't want any fame, doesn't want any uh, you know, publicity, but it comes. And this also came in, in the case of Madhavendra Puri, when in Ramuna, the uh, deity of Gopinath gave him, you know, stole for him that kheer, which he thought, oh, how to taste the kheer. And then the deity stole for him the, the key. Then after the whole incident and the Pujari had given him that pot of key, then he thought, oh, I better leave from here. Otherwise, the, uh, the news will be all over town and people will be wanting, they'll be looking for me. So I better go from here. Then he thought he'll just quietly go to Puri. But when he got to Puri, already the fame of that incident had arrived without internet, we might add, as a footnote. So also, Gorkishor Das Babaji Maharaj, he didn't want any name or fame, but somebody else who came to hear of his name and fame, the, about Gorkishor Das Babaji Maharaj's habits and everything, he, in nearby somewhere, also made a similar hut. And then he went through the similar practices and symptoms, external symptoms and external the practices of Gorkishoras Babaji Maharaj and doing all these things and people going to him to get thinking, oh, this is one great Mahapurush, etc. And when Gorkishoras Babaji Maharaj was asked about this, then he said that if a woman goes into the labor room, if she sees, oh, this other lady, she's having a baby and she's making all these uh, sounds, she's got pain, etc., etc. If a woman goes into the labor room, but only goes through the, the sounds and external kind of activi activities, then will she have a baby? No, it's just, it's a, a clear matter of imitation that before having a baby, Various things are required. And so similarly, before all the symptoms will come, then various things are required in spiritual life. So things may be a little obvious in the sense of lady, men dressing up as ladies, excuse me, pretending to be gopis, etc. Things may be a little obvious, but things may not be so obvious. And so also we have, you know, um, you know, specifically, we have some famous, if you like, um, preachers of Krishna consciousness, who Gurudev very much emphasized as giving the wrong thing, that this is the wrong thing. So again, imi imitation of the, the presentation of the great souls, but it can be looking, looking like the real thing, but not the real thing. And so really we need to always come to the original source as closely as possible so that we're not going into unknown territory and have to decide that, or oh, am I hearing from a genuine source or not? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, that comes to where we get our, our spiritual life from, where we are seeing our example. And but if we can be firm there, then we have some hope that our own practices 
will be real and not imitation. We're following under the guidance of the greater charges, under the guidance of both the living charges and the, the disappeared charges who have left so many guidances for us. So we'll be careful about our own conduct and really to maintain the association of devotees with checks and balances from each other is our safe way to go and the, the gold standard, the guinea stamp, as Guru Maharaj uses an old expression which the modern world probably doesn't even know, but the guinea stamp, there was a special stamp which when it's stamped then it, it's showing it has this particular value, then the guinea stamp of our standard is, of course, Guru Maharaj, Guru Dev, and Srila Prabhupada, Srila Sarasati Thakur, and our Rupa Nuga Guru Vaga. And they are always warning us to be careful of our own activities, of our own realizations, etc. And until we are 100% pure, then we cannot 100% rely on our own uh, callings from inside saying, oh, I should be, you know, whatever it, what, okay, I won't give you any whatever I should be. So, <laughs> our own realizations, our own uh, ideas to adjust our daily practice in such a way, whatever it may be, we should be very careful about that because until we are 100% pure, we don't have 100% possibility to rely on ourselves. That is why we need good company and the gold standard, the guinea stamp standard uh, to help us on our, on our safe journey. But there is a difference between imitating and practicing. Mm -hmm. If we say, oh, my japa is just imitation, and we just, and then give it up. So oh, this is imitation. Then what are we going to do? We're not going to chant japa. Our calling the Krishna's name, we, we must feel it is imitation. Mm -hmm. Maybe only in a very dire situation, which may be when we're leaving our bodies <laughs> in a dire, a dire situation. And maybe it won't be imitation. <laughs> we'll wait and see that one. <laughs> But in the meantime, calling Krishna, Krishna, Namabas, hopefully, <laughs> not Namaparad, <laughs> but we know that we are practicing to call. And yet, Gurudev, he will give the more than that. He said, yes, they are chanting Hare Krishna. They are calling Krishna. And they are all pure devotees. But just a little time <laughs> remaining until that pure, pure devotee aspect manifests itself. So following under guidance and imitating are two different things. And by the way, I was with Guru Maharaj one day. And so, I mean, I was with Guru Maharaj one day and uh, a devotee was explaining about uh, another devotee of our generation who was like imitating to some degree. And uh, Guru Maharaj always trying to find the positive side first. And then really he, and with a big smile and a little, like a little laugh as Gurudev would give him. He said, well, we can think imitation of a good thing is better than imitation of a bad thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> For, that's where Guru, Dev, Guru Maharaj Shri Shri Ramash started from. And then, of course, coming to express about how we must follow the genuine practices will give the genuine result and not to imitate. And this is where it is dangerous for us to go to read the high topics, all these things without hearing from the proper source, without having the guardianship, which is automatically coming, really, when we come to Guru Maharaj, Guru Dev, and Srila Prabhupada. And again, that's why this kind of association, it's extremely rare and extremely valuable. 
because there are so many you know sections of devotion sections of spiritual practices out there and we can say that so much is imitation and we want the real thing we want real gold not fool's gold not imitation gold and there is even a metal i think called fool's gold i think there is something like that but look on the positive side always and definitely don't go into yes everything i do is imitation so better i go and i don't know do something else other than krishna consciousness <laughs> that's not a good idea <laughs> Yes, Kumpundu. In our practice also, um, Srila Gurudev has taught us about union and separation rather than uh, immediate union in the mundane way as being mm -hmm. a, a central point of not imitating that very holy point. Once Srila Govinda Maharaj was explaining to me about um, some permeation which was um, on its way to America. We were in Vrindavan, but of a, a group of followers of a Sahaja line. And I asked him and he explained in great detail to me about the problems. And he, he spoke about this. Uh, they are believing in union easily and how it's and, nothing. Yeah. And there we have a, a big example too. Uh, we know what you're if who you're referring to, what you're referring to. Yeah. So this is the the difficulty that if we stray out from the protection of Guru Maharaj, Guru Dev and, and Srila Prabhupada, really, even though it may look like, oh, here there's a great preacher of Vaishnavism. If they're not safely under the shelter of all three, preferably, then there is danger. Because all three, they, each contribution has come to make our Krishna consciousness introduced, developed, protected, matured. So this is why we need that protection. And if we go elsewhere and think, oh, but from this other, this famous other person, he's a big pandit, then really, if we go there, what are we going to get that's more than what Guru Maharaj, Guru Dev and Prabhupada have given? Mm -hmm. And we'll be always judging that about, oh, is, is that right? Is that, does that fit to what sounds right from Guru Maharaj, what we've heard from our guardians? So why will we be there to analyze? Why will we try to be the judge? If we've heard from, from our guardians, oh, from here we can get uh, you know, clean Krishna consciousness, that's something else. Like we hear from Krishna Das Kaviraj about Srila Brindav and Das Thakur, for instance. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, in such a way, then we're getting the recommendation, we're understanding that from here and here, then we're getting our Krishna consciousness safely. But as you point out, we are also getting some very specific cautions about don't go there, don't hear from there, don't associate with those who've got that wrong mentality. Hare Krishna, do not imitate the pastimes of the Lord. And this Srila Prabhupada pretty much bangs into our heads on many pages, a high percentage of pages in his books. And about intoxication, etc. Mm -hmm. Lord Shiva, he can digest everything. If you can digest the poison and that is churned from the churning of the ocean, oh, then maybe you can take, you can smoke ganja. Otherwise, you're just inviting an early death. This thing, you have, we've all read it in Srila Prabhupada's book. So, 
we are not to imitate. If we have some capacity, then that is another thing of, of in, different, in different ways, like Shiva. But if we imitate, then we are lost. Yes. Jivana Devidas has joined us. Radha Sundari has joined us. Govinda Nandini has joined us from her home there too. Well done, Jai. And everybody else was with us before, I think. Oh, Radha Sundari. Yes, I just mentioned Radha Sundari. Radha Sundari is sitting very still, very still, watching us. She's very focused, watching us without blinking. Ha ha! She's animated. Dandavats in Nav Navadeep Mayapur. All right. So, a contribution from any quarter. And we know that Paramananda Prabhu can certainly contribute many things. Ah, certainly he can contribute many things directly from the lotus mouth of Gurudev. May we invite Paramananda Prabhu because Kum Kum Didi wishes to hear some discussion on this important point. You covered it very nicely. And really... This is the line wherein Srila Guru Maharaj mentioned how Srila Saraswati Thakur spent gallons of blood proving what is not a proper practice, what is not Maturya Rasa, what is Sahaja imitation. And when we speak of Sahaja, Sahaja generally means imitation to some extent. But here specifically, we have to point out Prakrita Sahaja. This is, the, this is the enemy. Like Maharaj mentioned, our practice is also sahajya. But just like the soldiers, Guru Maharaj giving that example, an army, sometimes there is no war, but they have to keep their shape. So they, they have war games where they're shooting blanks. It appears to be a war, full-scale war. They're preparing, they're doing the strategy. They're, Warriors are moving here and there, they're shooting rifles, the sound is there, but nobody is dying. So that is also called Sahaja. So in our practice, our practice is like that. But there's a big difference between Prakrita and uh, Sadhana Bhakti. They're two different things, Prakrita Sahaja and Sadhana Bhakti. And there is a reason. I mean, why would there be that verse in our Nat Mandir? And I only wish that for the Western section, it would, have, would be translated a into English or some equivalent of that. And that verse, all of you know, I'm sure Madhusudan Maharaj knows, I'm not asking Madhusudan Maharaj. But everyone who went to Navadvip, and Shri Guru Maharaj pointed out the essence of Saraswati Thakur's movement, the essence of his instructions is there in that verse. And that is Matala Harijana Kirtanarangi, Pujala Ragapata Gaurava Bangi. That's been a little bit adjusted by Srila Gurudev with the blessings of Guru Maharaj. So, again, so that the imitationists wouldn't uh, misrepresented uh, it. So, that was done for that particular purpose because there was an open window for those who have no capacity to understand the word of Saraswati Thakur. And uh, Srila Gurudev Guru corrected it. So Pujala Ragapata, Gaurava Bhangi. This is our position. Worshipping the path of the Mahajans, following the footsteps. There's a big difference between following the footsteps and imitating them. Huge difference, in fact. And then throughout a whole uh, Siddhanta of Gaudiya Vaishnavas, there are so many indications and warnings to us. Rupa Goswami, Atashi Krishna Namadina Bhavir Grahya Indriya. Impossible to understand, impossible to perceive, to taste with the mundane tongue, mundane senses, mundane brain. It is impossible to taste anything of Krishna's nature, not his name, not his form, not his pastime, 
nothing whatsoever. So don't even try, you will end up in a deep hole. And it is very dangerous. And then the, there are other indications, but really for us, we're followers. So we're hearing their instruction. What is following? Again, Tadvid Hipranipatana Pariprashnina Sevaya. This is following, Sevaya, following. It will come to you. You don't want to be exactly like them, but you want a drop of their mercy. So that you can understand a little bit of a reality. Once you are touched by that divine reality, then you're, at, you're addicted to that. You want to you wanna know more. You want to serve more. And I think good translation of that verse in our Natmandir is, fools rush where the angels fear to tread. It's good for us. So we can remember and we can relate to that. We don't want to be fools where the angels are very careful. They don't want to enter there rushing. Repeatedly offering their obeisances, keeping respectful distance. Guru Dev giving us perfect place. Guru Maharaj giving us perfect place. Coming back to Govardhan shelter. Not just in Govardhan, Govardhan, but around the world. We're all shelter, sheltered at the lotus feet, at the foothills of Govardhan. This is our position. Why? There's an explanation. I don't want to go into that because all of you know the reason for that. Perfect again. So not to fake it. Following, yes, trying our best, yes. Hoping for the rest, yes, we can hope for that. Guru Maharaj, hoping for the impossible. And this is our situation. The more you close, the more you're getting closer to the divinity, to that world, the more humble you become and the more you realize that you know nothing because it is opening in front of you. And when you're seeing that, you're, giving a, you're getting a glimpse of that, it just naturally humbles you. But again, if you're properly sheltered, like Madhusur Maharaj mentioned, what is the most important for us? If we receive proper shelter, Nijapati Bujidanda Chatra Bhava Prapadi, that shloka that starts with uh, the prayers to Govardhan, Raghunath Das Goswami. So Govardhan is just like an umbrella, Krishna holding him like an umbrella and inviting everybody to come, come under the umbrella of proper conception. And who represents Krishna the most? The Acharya, again, the proper Acharya. Coming back to what Madhusur Maharaj just said, a proper Acharya, first of all, is the one who is perfectly representing without any deviation, his guru, his line. He will always be, and Guru Maharaj points that out, he will always be a student. You can be an Acharya, but you will always remain a student at the same time. It's not that if you're an Acharya, you become an avatar of the Lord. Or if you go that, I mean, if you really lose it, then one day you will say, well, I'm like, just like the Lord. Krishna says, Acharya Mahavigarina, I'm no different from the Lord. Also happens, again, imitations. And recently I've been disturbed, really. I, was, I thought it was over. But in some Vaishnava organizations, big Vaishnava organizations, it's becoming a norm. It's broadcasted in their center temples. You can actually go online and listen from very senior section of the devotees, how you can just imagine how to get, this is a talk, how to get a divine service in Galoka Vrindavan. There's the answer by you know, a high ranking representative, the Acharya section representative. Imagine yourself, whatever you want to do in Galoka Vrindavan, imagine that seva, and that is your seva. This is your divine body. How to get divine darshan? Imagine divine couple in front of you. That's how you get divine darshan. It's becoming very, you know, very normal. So again, listening to that, and it's not just, I just, I mean, did it like a couple of days ago, and I was so shocked, and I was also feeling so fortunate and so happy that we got this opportunity to be sheltered under that umbrella. Sounds selfish, but yes, we can say, yes, we're feeling fortunate, but we're not closing the doors. We're inviting everybody to enter. And for that, you require a little bit of Sukriti as well. So don't burn the Sukriti, Gurudev used to say. You may get the Sukriti, but you can also burn the Sukriti. Because of bad association, you will fall in the... Uh, well of imitationism and there is no coming back it's better if you go and start eating meat smoking drinking that's you know that's savable you can still be safe but if you go into that well that will be close to impossible maybe millions and billions and trillions life later maybe you will get out of that maybe 
So a good point, Kum Kum Didi, for all of us to remember and not to imitate, continue under the shelter. And if we see Krishna, if we think we see Krishna, go to your spiritual master or go to those who are representing him perfectly and ask them if this is Krishna or not. And if they confirm, yes, then you go back and pay Dandavat and do the seva necessary. So I think this is our situation, very safe situation. Jai Shri Gurudev, Jai Shri Guru Maharaj. Jai. Yes, Govinda Nandini, and very happy to have you with us. By your, by your inspiration, Back to Back to Basics began, BBBCB, Back to Back to Basics began on Zoom. Welcome. Let us know your, your contribution today. I'm very glad to be back. <laughs> it's been a long time, so thunderbats to everyone. Uh, I am so very happy about this topic <laughs> being discussed today because it has been coming up for me lately a lot, just in, in, in general. Um, and I've been wondering about how, how this, co this concept applies in our devotional communities, you know, even those under the umbrella, how sometimes it seems that we want to avoid discussions of, you know, prajalpa, gramya katha, things that are worldly and taking away the focus from, you know, the point of existence, you know, harikatha, seva, all of these, you know, important things bringing us uh, closer to Krishna and his service. But I wonder about sometimes it feels like there's a level of pretense or imitation when we are not acknowledging the fact that we are still conditioned and we are not liberated or we wouldn't be here discussing these things in these ways and you know being so careful it, it is because of the fact that we are are not you know our, our consciousness is is not elevated to that point and that we are actively you know it's, it's sadhana bhakti as opposed to just full seva and how it's possible to have more open honest authentic sincere discussions of where we're at in our journey in order to help support one another more authentically because sometimes it feels like community you know devotees in the community may not feel very supported because they're not being reached at their level you know the, the discussion is so high they they struggle to understand how to apply it to their daily existence when their consciousness is still plagued all the time by bhukti and mukti and thoughts of such and you know they're aspiring to elevate their consciousness they're aspiring to surrender they're aspiring to attain that devotional platform of, of consciousness but it, it seems like sometimes there's just this disconnect um because of lack of open discussion and and i wonder if that's kind of what the purpose of ishtagoshti is supposed to be uh, okay uh, well, um, Ishtagosti has various aspects, um, but the other thing is that um, really it depends on where we can find association. And so if some association, it's already talking about things where we have to know what is Bhukti, what is Mukti, what is Bhakti, what is, you know, we've got the basic words like Jiva and, and everything, you know, we've got the basic things because <laughs> certainly I, I still remember, even though it's a long time ago, you know, first reading Srila Prabhupada's books, which, I mean, are giving us quite a, I mean, not quite a good, an extremely good introduction for the fallen souls to understand that we are in the, what are those words? Fools and rascals department. And we hear him mentioning this, and actually we understand he's saying, exactly you know description of ourselves oh we are in oh that's me i'm in the fools and rascals department so the fools and rascals part those words i kind of understood but if we say mudha and thing words like this which tend to come up in uh, other places we won't know am i a mudha or not and then we say ah oh, yes i am so Again, we need to, uh, in the whole wide world, we need to find the devotees. Amongst the devotees, we need to find the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Amongst the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, we need to find the main current. Amongst the main current, we need to find where we can 
find, have that uh, association which resonates with us according to our present position. And I do know that devotees from, I mean, teaching the children's, uh oh, just dropped my glasses, teaching the children's classes, we have the Bhakti Yoga for Kids, which is which is born from back to back to basics. And Praneshwari David has picked up the necessity for various things. I listen to Bhakti Yoga for kids. <laughs> it's good for us. <laughs> and so there, there is a variety, and that's just an example. There, there is a variety of talks out there. And uh, from the California ashram, Brinda Devi Rasi is a very good speaker. We, we hear from her. And things which I would say are relatable for all of the fallen soul part of the world. She goes to a prison, or used to, I'm not sure whether in the COVID time it stopped, but she used to go and teach and preach in a jail. In a, in, a, in a prison. And so she also has like very practical experience to, to speak appropriately for different persons. So I just mentioned these as, as examples that we then need to find where there is such association. And if we can't find such association, then we can try to help fill in the missing gap and to make that kind of a association group together as it were and develop it so there are there are you know grades of everything and it is good for us to hear about the upper world in the right way from the right place but quite right you know we have to keep our feet on the ground which is very much that shloka on the natmandi we have our feet on the ground and in our hands are cartels, madanga, and in our throat are the names of the Lord. So this is also a very practical example to say, oh, here we are, we are in this world. We are to chant the holy names in congregation and this way proceed, worshipping the upper plane. But yes, so you give association. Whatever we have, we can give, but we must be careful to give what we have from above and not what we may color it with, if you like. So we must be careful to give what we have got from our masters. And that also is helped by association. And as Guru Mar says, and is recorded in Sri Guru in his grace, if we only, if we know only and can't explain it or can't give any reasoning why, to chant Hare Krishna is very good for you. It's, it has helped me. I've come out from the you know, terrible position, whatever it may be. But whatever our own understanding is, to chant Hare Krishna is good for you. Then tell others. <laughs> I found it's very good for me. I think you'll find it's very good for you too. I see you are in a similar situation that I was in. And here this Maha Mantra has come to give much relief. Why, 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 why? I can't give you the whys. I just know if you take this, if you, if you take this food, you'll be healthy and nourished. I don't know what vitamin A or vitamin A, B, C, D, E, F, G, B1, B2, 12, etc. is inside. I don't, I'm not expert with my microscope and my technology, but I know that it's very tasty, very nourishing, and will do you good. So this way we need to share according to what we can and share appropriate to who's, who we're speaking to. Yes, Praneshwari Didi, share with us kindly. We are all ears. Maharaj, please check the chat. Check the chat. There is a message from Chintamani Thanks. and the, the reply from Govinda Nandini, which is so sweet. Yes, and maybe Chintamani would like to read her message and Govinda Nandini may like to re read her reply. Where's Chintamani? 
Oh, there's Jayadev. There's Jayadev representing Chintamani. Oh, Chintamani is there too, but she's, she's showing the deity form, not her deity form, her, the deity's form. <laughs> Jayadev Prabhu, would you like to read for Chintamani? I think she may not be available to. Um, is it the group of hippies part? Yes. Is that? Yes. Okay. That message. I, all right. Can you hear me? Okay. That, it sounds like you can. Yes, we can. I wound up joining with a group of international hippies in Mayapura during my first solo adventure in 2009 when I was 23. That would be her first solo adventure in India, obviously, before I joined the Hare Krishnas. They were on their way to a rainbow gathering. The two guys in the group wound up, oh my God, dressing up as gopis. And the other... I don't even, and the other lady was rolling on the ground howling during Kirtan. I didn't know what it meant, but I thought it felt weird and ditched them. Meanwhile, I didn't have the Sakriti to meet Srila Gurudeva, even though I technically could have. And I would add to that, that then on a later trip in India, she had the Sakriti to meet uh, Jagadananda Prabhu and uh, uh, many other devotees. Uh, on Parikrama, and I can't remember the exact details, but she actually ended up going to Sri Chaitanya Sarasat Mutt later on during a successive trip to India. Jai. And Govinda Nandini, your comment in response? I said, but you had the Sukriti to re recognize that that was an authentic expression of devotion and went to find the real deal. So that's still amazing. Jai. Many, ev okay, not many. I think everybody's journey is unique. So whatever has brought us, once we come, then we just thank our lucky stars and then make the most of that, utilize our fortune in safe association, pray for safe association, pray to the Lord for this. We are praying to him. Once we learn about him and once we learn about devotional life, we must be praying for, for him, praying to him for our devotional life, not for anything else, but that this greatest treasure of life, that we may stay safely and in good association. Dear Lord, give us that association, which is honest, truthful, beneficial, and in the association of those who are generous towards us. Hare Krishna. Maharaj, and last but not least, Dandavat from Mother Priya Devi Dasi from Rupa Vilas. Aha, Rupa Vilas Prabhu. Kiti Kadamba. Aha. Uh, Anukul Facebook. Chandra, Anukul Chandra on Facebook, yes, yes Anukul yes. Chandra Prabhu, uh, Swarnangi Didi in Sokel, Jai Swarnangi Didi Dandavat, and uh, in from Brazil, Rajwu Wan Yavad, yes, Jai, our regular regular attendee, and happily you're very welcome. And he's always sharing the classes, Maharaj. Okay, lovely. When we find something which gives us inspiration, let us share it with others. It is very good to do. Hare Krishna. And Jivana is about to tell us something so special. Of course she is. <laughs> Jivana Didi, please. But you have to turn off your mic or turn on your microphone. Oh my god, I can't stop laughing. You are so funny, Pranashari. Oh my goodness. No, I thought this is an amazing, amazing conversation. And like you're saying, it's so super important. And I just love all the input from everybody. That was a great question up front, Kum Kum Devi. And um from Madhusuda Maharaj and from Parmesh Prabhu, from I mean, from um, Parmananda Prabhu. And uh, I also loved um Shintamani and 
Domini and I know his name. Jaya Dave Prabhu. Jaya Dave. Jaya Prabhu. Yes, Jaya Dave Prabhu. They always have a wonderful contribution and uh, really grateful. And to, to Jaya Dave's point, you know, how he said, you know, he finally came to the mission. And to your point, Maharaj, that um, actually once we're here, we're just so fortunate to even be allowed to hear these kind of points. I mean, who hears this kind of philosophy that's so critical? And sometimes when you read the books, you, every single page, you're thinking how much our guardians are protecting us at every moment, keep channeling us in the correct direction, and saving us from all the thieves and rogues and rattlesnakes and alligators that are always coming towards us on this path. It's just amazing. So um, I'm really, really appreciating this whole conversation. And I did um, hear, and to uh, again, uh, to Mata Sudamaraj's point about good association. And um, I heard that the best kind of association you can have is those who are in your same line, which we've been really discussing a lot just now. And um, someone who's a little more advanced, at least a little more advanced. And um, who, and then the third a point that's also very important that Mata Sudamaraj, you mentioned, is that they're affectionate towards us. Someone who has a little affection towards us, then they're that is very um, helpful for us for our spiritual progress. Jai. And so yeah, that's that that's my contribution. And Ashri. <laughs> <laughs> and Jiva Nadidi, one more thing. Can you please read the last uh, post in the chat? The last post in the chat. Okay, doke, hold on one moment. One moment. Srila Guru Maharaj's words. You are asked to, be, to read something very okay. powerful. Wow, all that. right. The topics presented here, and this, by the way, okay, from this is from Srila Sridhar Maharaj, Srila Guru, De, Guru Maharaj, Golden Staircase in the foreword. The topics presented here have been selected to illustrate the proper and practical way for a sincere sadhaka aspirant to progress on the path of pure devotional service to the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna, especially in his form as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Srila Guru Maharaj repeatedly emphasized that the path should be followed carefully, step by step, without omitting anything, lest one fall into the traps of either Sahajiaism, imitationism, or Mayavad, impersonalism. He taught us that by always keeping Sadhu Sangha, association of good devotees, either personally or through their shikshas, through their instructions, by chanting the holy names of the Lord with sincerity and faith, and by rendering loving service to Sri Guru and the Vaishnavas, one could steadily progress on the path back to Godhead. Very beautiful, Pranishri. Thank you, Jivana Didi. Thank you. You're muted, Maharaj. Actually, the book is by Srila Sridhar Maharaj, Srila Guru Maharaj, but as you're reading, I understood uh, that actually these are the words, and also very good words, but uh, words of Sripad Tridandi Maharaj, Bhakti Swarup Tridandi Maharaj, who compiled that book. And it is another one of these beautiful books which doesn't get read often enough unless you read it every day of your life. Hare Krishna, but yes, this is, this is really the, the point. And what Guru Maharaj is giving, then he's giving us all this protection. And these two things here, Sahajism and Mayavad, these two things, they're so dangerous on our path. And somehow or another, we've covered those this last time and today. And Maharaj. Guru Maharaj just mentioned the importance of seeing everything through the instructions of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yes. And really, throughout every single prominent Acharya in our line is pointing in that direction, without exceptions. Take anything whatsoever, starting from Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, he was the first one. 
his famous verse, Vairagya Nija Bhakti Yoga Shikshartam Eva Purusha Purana. He's saying Mahaprabhu came to tell us what is not Bhakti Yoga, what is not favorable for acquiring Bhakti Yoga. You reject that, accept what is favorable. And then next is Rupa Goswami again. And Upadishamritam, and I know you, all of you already know Upadishamritam from first to the 11th verse. The eighth mm -hmm. verse, the Upadesha Saram, the essence of all instructions. Tadnama Rupa Charitadi Sukirtananu Smritya Kramena Manasa Manasa Rasamini Yoga. Tishtam Vraje Tat Anuragi Jananugami. This is the line. Tishtam Vraje Tat Anuragi Jananugami. You can reside in a holy place. What is the holy place where the Anuragi Jana are living? I mean, who is Anuragi Jana? Who is actually, we can say in simple English, a substantial devotee. So, Tishtam Vrajet at Anuragi Jananu Gami, become their Gami, become their followers. And it concludes, this is the essence of all instructions, Rupa Goswami. Prabodhananda Saraswati, Continuous, Kala, uh, what is it? Oh, he's saying, Samsara Dukha Jaladho Patitaisi Kama Krodhadi Nakra Makarai Kavali Kritaisi, that's Praneshwari. Devoured, where, oh no, that's Jivana was just saying, we're devoured by crocodiles and sharks and other beings of anger, material, uncontrolled material senses and mind. So samsara dukha jaladho patitasi kama krodhadi nakra makarai kavali kritasi. Durvasana nigadidasi nirashrai, devoid of good qualities, without the shelter. We're wandering in this universe. What is our conclusion? And then Prabodhananda saying, take shelter of Mahaprabhu's lotus feet. This is your only action that is necessary, nothing else. There you will find everything that is necessary. And we can just go on with that. Really, Mahaprabhu is the prominence of Mahaprabhu's conception and the prominence of Mahaprabhu's pure representatives. So this is our wealth, again, coming back to the same point. Stay safe. Stay safe. Everybody wants to stay safe from the virus, this, that, and the other, but we need to stay safe from some very dangerous virus. The viruses of impersonalism and the, in, the viruses of, of imitation, Sahajya. Hare Krishna. Okay, very good point. Kum Kum Devi Rasi, all, each and every one of you on Zoom and on Facebook, always good to be in your association and to be able to discuss these things which really are the basis of our life. And I also was thinking about when we, when we are with Guru Maharaj and Guru Dev, when we are with them, then they are always so clear about like this don't imitate, serve, service, service, service. And we've seen devotees you know, supposedly trying to do like some of the austerities and things which are given in the scripture. But we're not saying about you know, giving marks as such, but to use an expression, we don't see that those devotees who do that independently get any marks from Gurudev for their fasting, for their chanting 64 rounds you know, a day for the whole month or something like that. Gurudev, oh, they're, you know, giving them credit for what they're doing, but not credit in the sense of service credit. The, the thing to do is to utilize our time in service. And so we also Pray that we can always be engaged in the positive savor as our Guru Maharaj and Guru Dev have given to us. Hare Krishna. And, and try to satisfy them, understand them and satisfy them and not dissatisfy them. Maharaj, and before you go, the last end of us from Mohanananda in Australia. Achha. And 
Na Kanti in uh, in Sokil. And there who is a Kanti? Name, Krishna Kanti. Oh, Krishna Kanti. Tandabat, Tandabat in Sokil. In Sokil. Yes. I don't I don't recognize Isabella Maayan, but she is also offering respects. Okay, and our respects to Isabella. 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 Okay, very good, very good. And to all of you and to Mohanji in Australia, good to know that you're there. There it is, the afternoon or even evening. Oh, afternoon, I think, in Australia. Just see how the world goes around. And their sun will come here presently. Still it is dark. We're waiting for the sun to rise. So let the sun of Krishna consciousness rise in our hearts by the grace of Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga. Let us stay safe from imitation. Let us stay safe from bad association. And let us continue happily. Chant Hare Krishna. Be happy. Jai wonderful Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Rokok, Sri Radhe Goswami Maharaj, founder of charge of Sri Chaitanya Sarasatmat Ki Jai. Yeah. And Jai, our most wonderful, affectionate to all the fallen souls, Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda, Dev Goswami Maharaj, giving us Srila Guru Maharaj and our whole Sampradaya Ki Jai. Yeah. And Jai, wish for any worldwide famous, worshipable Acharya, Srila. A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai, and Sri Rupa Nuga Guru Bhaga Ki Jai, our present day Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Acharya Brinda Ki Jai, all the assembled devotees online and who will be viewing also later, and all the worldwide devotees not online and who won't be viewing later, to all of the Vaishnava <laughs> Ki Jai, Netai Gaur Premanandi, Hari Hari Bol. Bancha kalpa turubhyascha, kripa sindubhya evacha, patitanam pavanebhyo, vaishnavebhyo, namo namaha. And wishing you Jai successful saver days until we meet again soon. Jai Bhakti Rajapat Sudhan Maharaj ki jai. Hare jai. Krishna. Seva Rupa Devirasi has been very quiet today, so she wanted to make a little sound. Next time we must give you an opportunity. You can bring something. Seva Rupa Didi. You can bring something in your pocket as a contribution for next time. Okay? Because you were very quiet today. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Maharaj. Thank you.